is a shirt vendor there today. Oh, we don't have our shirts today. I think we forgot them, right? We forgot all the shirts and everything today, didn't we? Yeah, we forgot them. Yeah, well, we talked about it last night. Okay. Never mind. I ain't bringing it up. Okay. Yeah, Cassidy's was the only one that I was told about for shirts. What was I supposed to bring? Oh, I'll see if the shirt vendor was there today. We'll start bringing the shirts to all the tournaments, too. Oh, the Predator guy. <laughs> there are some Predator shirts yeah, here. Yeah, there's Predator shirts here. There's a few there. I know online they haven't changed to the new tour yet. It's last year's. Uh, Heather's supposed to change that when she gets back from Derby City. But you can still order them with her. Yeah, you can order them for Christina, I think. Yeah, you can order them through Christina. Or if you want, just... What size, Jonathan? And we can see if she has one here. Nope, oh, Ruben must be cold. All right, everyone, let me go over the rules for today. It is wreck your own alternate break. The three-point rule is in effect for the men in the open. Uh, so three balls must be either pocketed and or cross into the head string. The three foul rule is in effect. And jump cues are allowed. Morning. And the reason you saw Justin look at that is because the three-point rule was not met. And it is his right. He can either take okay. over the table or uh, give it back to Eric. But either one of them can push out if they wanted. Let the girls play a couple games and then go do what they do. Because I'm waiting on Mandy and You're Barbara. waiting on Mandy and Barbara. Yeah. And then Angela's waiting on Millie and Sophie. Right. All right, everybody. Hey, if y'all could hit that thumbs up if you haven't. Um... And if you haven't, uh, oh, sorry, if you're on social media by chance, other social medias, and y'all's part of the country and world, if y'all could share the stream, we'd really appreciate it. Cheers. Cheers. Oh. All right, so Justin gets ball in hand. I am live. Sorry, I'm sharing to our social media right now.
Thanks, Roger. Thank you, Roger. Sorry, I wasn't looking at the chat. I'm sharing everything. I'm here. I know, Lisa's got it. Well, even when I'm not here, I'm still got it. <laughs> Nice run by Jeff. My hands don't feel good. <laughs> mm. All right, like I said, we are doing alternate break all the way through. No icon trouble today. <laughs> Hopefully not. I found out what I did. I will not be doing that ever again. When I had the wireless monitor over here and I was resetting it for Nancy, I accidentally hit the reset all button for all the icons so everything went to its original size that's what i did yeah after doing some further research on what was in the area that i could have hit i found it i'm so happy to know i'm the, the only one that hits the wrong buttons <laughs> i'd never had that issue before but i'd never used a wireless monitor that was set up that way that was a nice break that is correct that is correct, Rod. You are absolutely correct. He's got to figure out what to do with the one. See, what y'all have to understand, it's usually me that hits the wrong button. And I'm fixing it. I, I can tell you that I am computer stupid. I have no problem telling you all that. But she does know how to... Change the score. Change the score and change the names. Yep. She was willing to learn that part. That's it. Ain't no more. Oh, good start. Hey, I just want to double check. Y'all can't hear any music in the background, right? Morning, Big Bill. Morning, Bill. Okay. Yeah, they're racing to four for y'all, so. All right, thanks, Bill. Thanks, James. When I talk, okay, Roger. Yeah, the jukebox is a little higher than normal, but it should be fine.
I do believe so. Let me, I will double check. Uh, ignore the Bridges Freeman thing. That is a scam. I will remove it. Yes, this is a winner's side match. So it is a race to seven. Eric coming to the back of the table. Sorry, I'm still sharing. Stuff, but... Everyone, if y'all could hit that thumbs up, I'd really appreciate it. That helps us with the YouTube algorithm, and the algorithm controls what gets shared on the main pages of YouTube. It's a little early on a Sunday, Roger, so I figured it's going to be a slow start. That's a little safety there. Nice shot. Oh, man. That was a tough roll. All right. Thanks, Roger. Eric gets, uh, sorry, Justin gets that one. He's up 2 0. Race to seven. Huh? <laughs> Actually, yeah. I got him in the Jeep. No problem.
Hey, Jamie. How are you this morning? I went to the Jeep and uh, grabbed some ibuprofen for one of the players real quick. Yes, he is. Roger. But sleepy, Jimmy. <laughs> but awake now. That was a nice safety, uh, Roger. Oh, just trying to psych myself up. You'll be fine. Don't think about it. Just shoot. Oh, look at who's talking. <laughs> <laughs> just giving you the advice you always tell me. <laughs> Lisa's waiting on an opponent. They're playing right now, and then she... Then I went to go watch. But you know how both of them play, so... Well... Yeah, but one is usually stronger than the other. Yeah. But they're both playing really, really good they're, right now. They're here to get it. All right. Just knock on wood, I played better than what I played yesterday. Yeah, Roger, these tables suck. <laughs> <laughs> you're playing the table and yourself these tables are brutal yeah they are they're wicked alright so Justin's coming back to the table oh, I just want to say good morning everyone if it's still morning where you are Yes, sir. Yep, almost eleven here. Okay, so <laughs> I don't know why they call them smartphones. They always make you feel stupid, but you know what the heck you want to say. Saying things. Yeah, you type exactly what you want. <laughs> well, see, the problem is they've become, cell phones have become politically correct. Screw that. Sorry. <laughs> Mm 
Nice. Nice. I want to learn how to do that someday. Mm-hmm. I wanted to do that when I grew up. He went a little bit further than what he wanted to. Yeah. And that, on table 22, right beside him, that's another winter side match. Ruben Baptista and I don't know that man. We can find out real quick, as long as my bandwidth stays intact. Uh, it's Travis Maschek. Hmm. He's a good shot. Never seen yeah, he him. is. Eric got that one. Eric got that one. Had a lot of players for this tournament. There was a lot of them that pre-registered that didn't show up. We know some got uh, got sick and didn't want to risk coming down here. We had some, you know, Double D's Roadhouse. Yesterday was their last tournament. I know. I, I know. Missed. I'm gonna miss. I'm gonna miss them. We missed it. So some of the players broke off and played their last final tournament. We can pray that the new owners, Double D's Tavern, takes care of their tables. And we can continue to yeah, stream over there. Daryl and Jarrett said they would continue running tournaments over there if they kept up with the equipment. So all we can do is hope that they care about the pool players. Because they do have leagues that are in there during the week. Mm-hmm. And one of them is, I believe, the Country Shooters League, and Darrow, I believe, is the president. So. Right now, no. It's iffy for right it, now. It's iffy until we know how the new owners are going to take care of this stuff. It's up to whether Darrow and Jarrett were willing to run tournaments for them or not. Nice of you to join us this morning there, Junior. Can I take a nap? That's up to you. <sighs> now, state law says no. Can't fall asleep in a bar. <laughs> oh, trust me, I can fall asleep with my eyes open. They never know. Nice shot. I cannot tell if the four will go by the nine. Yes. It will? Yeah. She's, got, she's a little bit further over than I am. Tight little squeeze, but hey, Manuel, no, not all the tables are being used. There hey, are Manuel. some. There are tables up front. We're just in the back on the back ten. Back and off to the side. They left the front for open for whoever else wants to play. Told ya. Uh, I thought Junior's was normally on Saturday. But hell, hell, I don't know. Yeah, there's tables up front they can run out to you. Jamie's here. Yeah, she already reserved the uh, league tables. Yeah, um, April and Christina will be playing the hot seat later today. And I'll be playing here in a little bit. Yeah. Yes, she is. Nice right, out just by Justin. Got that one. 
Justin's up 3-0. Sorry, 3-1. I do apologize. I was looking right at the 1 and I still said 0. I don't know. Maybe I'm not awake yet. Maybe I need more caffeine. I know. What's up? Oh, thank you. All right. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thanks. Yeah, I'm staring at a bottle of water and a cup of coffee. I already had one cup. All right. You Junior, answer. you need to, since you're awake, you can bring me barbacoa tacos. <laughs> Damn. I don't think he's ever worn one of those before. Oh, I'm a 2X. Yeah. I'm fat. I'm a 2X. Yeah, but in a baseball jersey, they yeah. fit a little yeah, different. Yeah, I don't know. I've never worn one. I mean, if it's like a regular baseball shirt kind of jersey with the sleeves, whatchamacallit, that's different. But he don't wear t-shirts. Uh, he ate your barbacoa tacos. Don't talk to me. <laughs> All right, we got Justin at the table. Everyone, by the way, Texas Q, that's Junior. He's the one that does all our shirts and apparel locally uh, with our original logo. Mm. I have to send Darren a message. I need his address. Okay, I'll have to find a way to get a hold of him. Oh, wait, man, he sent me an email a long time yeah. ago. Yeah. Oh, tough leave. So Eric's coming back. Radiant shot. This is the perfect stop. It just stops. Both of these are in the 720s, Fargo-wise, if you pay attention to Fargo. I think Justin's got Eric by like four points. It's on the bracket. Oh, by the way, if y'all want to check out the bracket, it's pinned in the top of the chat. Check. Make sure I'm not lying to you. Actually, I have it backwards. Eric is at 724 and Justin's at 720. Ignore Glover, Grover, whatever it is, Glover. Yeah. Their spamming live stream is really good right now. Nice little safe by Justin. And obviously we got more people on the stream now than we did earlier. And if you weren't on yesterday, just to give you an idea, this is the first stop of the 2022 tour. For the Predator Arcadia Syntex Pool Tour. Um, tour started last year. 
was the first year. There was six stops. This year, there's actually eight stops. And they've added a ladies division at seven of them. Because seven of them are nine ball individual singles uh, tournaments. The eighth one is actually going to be an open scotch doubles at Bananas during the summer. Oh, tough. But Christina and Daniel Snyder have put the tour together. Justin's waiting on uh, Ruben Batista to finish shooting. There we are. And Ruben's in from Mexico City. Go play the tournament. Beautiful. Um, maybe could you take a picture, take a picture of the payouts for me, please? Or did you already do it yesterday? I think she did it yesterday based on the look that she just gave me. Okay, everyone here today is getting paid out. I made it to the day two. Okay, in the open division, uh, first takes 1,200, second 900, third 600, fourth 400, uh, fifth sixth, they'll get 200 each, seventh and eighth, they'll get 100 each, and ninth through 12th, we'll get 50. Now, as for the ladies, First place gets 600. Second place is going to get 400. Third place is going to get uh, 250. Fourth place is going to get 130. Fifth, sixth is going to get 60. And seventh, eighth is going to get 25. Um, the Predator Ascentex Tour has decided this year not to do a Calcutta for any of the stops at this time. And Fast Eddie's doesn't allow uh, Calcuttas anyway. Yeah, Calcuttas are still a touchy item in some places. Nice shot from Justin. By the way, Justin was last year's tour champion. And I believe he got perfect attendance for attending all the tournaments as well. All right, so Justin's up four to one. Hey, Steve. How are you doing? They're... They're doing some research because of some things that have come up lately. But like I said, Fast Eddies, they can't come. They don't know, like, let them on the uh, property. I don't know. Go talk to GQs. <laughs> Yeah, 
Yeah, alcohol license is what costs you the most. I'm over here talking, and I don't have no, my headphones on. Headset, exactly. Um, as far as the bar, it all depends on the property and what bar you, where you buy it, or you know? where you invested it or rent it. As far as the alcohol goes, alcohol license is the most expensive thing you've got. You can do a BYOB and sell the setups, like um, it wouldn't be a bar anymore. <laughs> <laughs> you are right, Siri. <laughs> the old Azabachi does that. Yeah, the old old Abasa does that. Uh, Slims. Slims now. They don't have a liquor license, but they will sell you the setups for it and stuff. They do have beer and all that thing. In They've got the straight beer license, but they don't yeah. have a liquor license. The same for the vault. They don't have a liquor license. Right. You can bring BYOB. They'll sell the sell-ups. And... Set-ups and stuff like that, yeah. But you can do beer and wine. Yeah, because I think uh, GQ's, which mm. you know is a pool supply store, they do Q-Work, and they've got nine-foot diamonds there i think they got a 10 foot diamond too uh, but they're labeled as a retail store that's why they were able to because stay they actually started COVID. out even though they had the tables mostly dart supplies. yeah they were dart supplies initially but they were able to stay open during covid so some people could get their uh pool fix okay i had to approve that i guess because the email address was on there <laughs> Actually, the majority of strip clubs <laughs> um, are BYOB. Look what the B is. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Yeah, it, well, you can still have beer and wine. Yeah, just set up a, I mean, it's like a restaurant. If you're going to have food, you set it up as a restaurant. I mean, look at Pocket. Because, I mean, honest, most, most pool players are, are more beer drinkers and then regular non-alcoholic than actual liquor drinkers. Especially while they're playing. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Just fidgety, I guess. All right, yeah, it looks like Eric left himself. Yeah, he got a bad roll on that one. All right, just going to play a little safe. Try to get it around. That's a nice shot. Even Justin shaking his head, nodding it, yeah. Oh, he's looking at the maybe the kick mm -hmm. combo.
said not to go with it. Ah. Uh, yeah. If it's not already established, you mm -hmm. can't. You can't open one up. So if a bar converts to something else other than a bar, then, yeah, there is a movement, and we saw it during COVID here badly, against bars. They targeted the bars. They targeted the bars. That was a good defense, yes. Yeah, just the bars, because, you know, it's a smart, it's a smart thing, because when you're eating food and at a like place called like Chili's where they have a bar there but they also serve food they're considered a restaurant covid was smart it knew the difference between a regular bar <laughs> and a restaurant bar you yeah. know and it was okay for you to go and drink at that restaurant bar with your kids yeah, with your family and we and have, all that we we also have a I mean, we normally don't talk politics but no. we do have a local judge county judge who is anti bar He's made that quite clear. Oh, yeah. And so, the only way he would let them open up was if they converted to a restaurant. And got that restaurant license. And he was very f reluctant with that, too. He wanted them shut down. Yeah. I shut. Get over enough? Yeah, y'all are true bars. Yeah, Texas has got some old blue laws issues still, you know, from decades ago. The old blue law that we had. You couldn't sell alcohol on Sundays, which you still can't. If it's New Year's Day or Christmas and all that, even if it's on a Saturday, they have to be closed. Not the bars uh, no, the, the liquor stores liquor stores yeah. yeah um the bars are set up to certain times they can be open and sell alcohol in texas they're not like vegas where you can go 24 7 it's like today on sunday you can't buy anything alcoholic until noon unless you purchase food with mm -hmm. it. yeah because one of the guys went up there and ordered a McLoob, and she's all, uh, you have to order food. He oh, says, but nice. I just ate. <laughs> he says, then you don't oh, get your nice. beer. Yep. Nice shot. Hmm? Yeah. It, and that's about, I mean, it, it's between 30 and 50, depending on the state. Nice. Uh, I don't believe so. Because uh, New Year's weekend, they were closed Saturday and Sunday. And it caused an uproar because of the old blue law. Because if they didn't buy their alcohol on Friday, they didn't get it. Okay, so Justin's up 5-1. to one. Eric is racking the breaking. I need to get back to the chat. We need one of the wireless monitors just so I can pop this over there and share it. Yeah, because I can't put my monitor up. We can as long as we connect. Well, actually, I'm not hooked to mine right now. I'm actually hooked to the Wi-Fi here. There's not a lot of people in here dragging the uh, guest yeah, Wi-Fi down. Well, I didn't bring it because I couldn't put it up. Okay. Yeah, no, so on Michigan, I think in Ohio is the same way. Yeah, Siri. Yeah, cause we, yeah, but you can order French fries. Yeah, and we, we always did the pretzel, beer. the pretzel here and get a beer because they actually have really good pretzels. Some people would order the popcorn. Exactly, and you just pick on it. And if you don't like any of that stuff, somebody, somebody around here will yeah, eat it. And the it. thing is, you just have to buy one food item. You mm -hmm. could buy ten beers with it, as long as there is a food item on your ticket. Hi, Chuck. Hey, yeah. Chuck. How there just has to be a, something food. For you to be able to, to drink. And like I said, even if you don't eat it, somebody around you will. Because well, you know, these pool players are always hungry. Well, I'm yeah. fat, so I eat anyway. That's a nice spread. Nice spread on this break. I 
I want to do that someday. Perfect pocket. Noon. Okay. Yeah, no, here at Fast Eddie's, because when the guy wanted to buy, she could buy fries. Yeah, you can, like I said. I, Take I, a tots, whatever. When but. we had, uh, like, Tri-Cup, well, not Tri-Cup, but, like, City would carry over the next day, or Regionals, that play here, I'd always, you know, first thing I'd order is a pretzel and get my beer, because I like to drink a few when I'm, shooting it helps relax me i drink like one or two beers every match but i don't really drink in between nice nice run okay it gets eric two so justin's up five to two Okay, so Ruben won his. Oh. I didn't adjust the sound for the promos. I would have blown their ears out. I would have hit you. It wouldn't blow us or ours are set whether or not we're not okay. playing in our head mic anymore. I say I'd hit him. Yes. I I like drinking I like beer. Okay, they're gonna take a quick break. Uh I like drinking a couple of beers here and there while I'm shooting. One, I mean, in the old days bars here were paying our fees. You know, to play for them. So I mean if you if they're paying your weekly fee of twenty five, thirty dollars, whatever it is, to play league and you don't buy anything, they're losing. So I'm going to at least buy a couple of beers and support my sponsor. Exactly, Siri. Yeah, I don't drink either, James. Except for when we win our championships, I'll have a few shots with the girls, but that's it. I just drink water. Well, coffee this morning, but... Okay, I'm going to throw this up here real quick. Be right back. All right, I want to thank everyone for joining us on the Backwards Billiards YouTube channel. If you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing. It helps us out more than you can imagine. And obviously, you're watching us on YouTube. It is the only place that we are streaming at this time. Um, but if you're on Facebook, look us up. We have a business page and a group. So feel free to like, join, and follow us there. Uh, if you're on Instagram, look for backwards.billiards. Um, I started, I put the first reel up the other day, and it did real good. Our tournament director shooting an awesome bank shot on the eight for league. And Justin is racking, so I'll get you back to the table. And I'm going to get up and stretch. I'll be right back. Morning, bug. Oh. Morning, bugs. Morning, Eric. How are you doing today? Morning, Eric. 24 degrees. And you are having a heat wave up there. Heat wave up there. You can keep it. <laughs> 
Hey, everyone. Hey, like Siri said in the chat, hey, if y'all could hit that thumbs up, we'd really appreciate it. That's the like button, and it helps trigger the algorithm for YouTube, and it'll get more of a chance of us being shared on the main pages of YouTube. And believe me, we need all the help we can get. And James has got 18 degrees. Four inches of snow. Uh, yeah, no. Justin's got a nice little spread here. Honestly, the only thing he's got is the nine ball on the rail right there by the side pocket. And that shouldn't be no big of a deal. See, here's where the nine ball comes into play. Thank you, Junior. He didn't get it off that rail, but he moved a little bit further down. And it doesn't look like he's touching the rail. He wanted to hit it a little bit and knock it off the rail, but he didn't. He hit it a little bit too far. Hey, Cassidy, good morning. Hey, Cassidy. Nice shot. shot. All right, that'll put Justin on the hill. I really need to learn how to play like that when I grow up. Yeah, one of these days. I think by the time I grow up, I'll be dead. <laughs> Too damn old. All right, so Justin's up six to two, race to seven. What? Oh. I am still trying to wake up this morning. Just bear with me, everybody. All right, we got Eric breaking. Okay, good break. Past the three point rule. Hey, Andrew, what's up? Right, we got Justin coming back to the table. Gonna get more All
Doing good, Andrew. How's Kelly? Let's see. Save. Eric can see it, but it is kind of blown up. Rolled out of the pocket. I don't know if he's got enough to be able to run that route. <laughs> it's all right out here. <laughs> hey, you probably got better weather than we do. Eric's coming back to the table. Let's see if I can. 49. Actually, you get about the same temperatures we got here then. Okay, you're just going to kiss it. Tough. Okay, so Justin's got ball in hand, obviously. And honestly, the table is wide open. These pockets are brutal at times, but obviously a lot of the better players have been able to overcome it. These pockets are deep, and they are notorious for rattling balls. Yeah, I think we're like upper 50s, mid, mid to upper 50s. All right, everyone, ignore that that just popped in the chat. Spam, let me move it. Oh, cool, James. I was stationed in Orlando for two years. I, I loved Florida. When I got out of the Navy, I was either coming back home to Texas or I was going to move to Florida. I ended up coming back. All right, let's see who's going to get back on the table. I don't know if he'll try drawing it all the way back. He went for the draw. Nick it. All right. We both got. Hey, Anthony. How are you doing? All right. Justin gets this match. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to join our pool family. Here's a couple of videos you might be interested in seeing. Thank you again.